So hello, my name's Richard Collins. I'm one of the senior technology analysts at ID TechX, and I'm here at the ID TechX show in Santa Clara, USA. I'm here with Dr. Kim from LG Electronics, who gave one of our keynote presentations in the Graphene Conference and has a booth very close to us. Yeah. So Dr. Kim, what yeah. would you like to tell us? What's new in the Graphene world that you've developed? Yeah, the ship in the Graphene case, people don't expect too much. Yes. Yeah, because the, the quality of the ship in the Graphene is not so good and the, the capacitor, production capacitor is so bad. So yeah. it's tiny, tiny thing, and uh, actually the size of the ship with the graphene is just, just a small, yeah, kind of the centi by centi scale meter. But in our case, we adopted the rotor process, so we can grow the high quality of the ship with the graphene with large size, you know, really large. The width is uh, 400 millimeter, and long is uh, 100 meter. We can grow. 100 so, meters? Yeah, okay. we tried. Yeah, so, and we checked everything. So by adapt, adapt, by combined with the our high the quality control management, we it's a very it's a tired of thing. It's a very strict thing. So we have to pass through the the, con, the QC measurement system to supply the our graphene to supply the for customer. So all things perfectly passed. So we can. Supply the high quality graphene with a large area and mass production. So, in, for the graphene quality, we control the grain size of the graphene. So, we can go control the 5 square micrometer to 500 square micrometer. It's a huge variation. And in addition, the, we minimize the defect. That okay. means the usually the Raman analysis shows the single layer graphene, but Deep inside there, there are lots of the multi-layer spot. In our case, we developed a special technique to detect the multi-layer spot. So we grow and optimize the condition. So we minimize the multi-layer uh, spot. Like we call this a multi dot It's a just a five or six per square meter, uh, per 500 micrometer, 500 micrometer size. In the normal case, there are hundreds of or a thousand of multis that inside mm -hmm. there. That is a very important case because that act as a big defect in the electronic device kind of the sensor or photo detect or some kind of detector. So so my our customer and uh, our co-worker checked our ship the graphene and they reported tremendous value of a mobile mobility electrical mobility. Electromobility. Yeah. 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 Okay, so you can make this very high scale rotor graphene yeah. with very low defects on a very high rate as well. Yeah, sure. You said the rate was six meters per hour? Yeah. Okay, so very impressive. Yeah. So where do you hope this is going to go? What's the main target market mm. for this kind of high volume, very good quality CBD graphene? Yeah, that's a big problem. The for, big challenge. Yeah, big challenge for the, the pine application. In, the, in, the, in your presentation, you mentioned the the egg and chicken cycle. Yes. Yeah, I believe that. So we are ready to supply the good quality and mm. low cost CBD material. So the many kind of many investor or well, the researcher can try it. They can expect they can lots of experience in to using. So we mm. expect the collaboration for the specialist. And my concern the, some electronic device kind of sensor, yeah. especially biosensor is a very fine field. And mm, the, so why a yeah. biosensor in particular? Particular? Uh, because you I'm, said in your talk, because graphene can be more biocompatible, more friendly. Yeah, yeah more friendly. We are, yeah, actually we check the, the bio-friendly. Uh -huh. the, the graphene is a very friend, very compatible, uh, very friendly with the cell and tissue. So there are some reports. The stem cell or the human, human tissue they are well attached on the grab ship the graphene and grow very good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so that means that, that kind of uh, attachable device or wearable device in the, in the body is a very big. Very good. Uh, very bright. So you yeah. said that we were in this position of the chicken and the egg where yeah. you need scale to have 
volume and sales and now yeah. you have scale and you have a good production yeah so when do you hope things will come to the market in a few years or many more I think you know maybe few you know few years, few years? Is, yeah because until now many many researchers try the ship the graph here that case is a uh, in my opinion it's a not enough performance mm. yeah so bad bad mod and not enough quality material that means uh, the final product is not also not good performance I see yeah so we have a good performance mm. quality and people can try many times because our graphene is so cheap yeah so and I know I asked you this in the conference but one of the key challenges with yeah. graphene is the transfer yeah how do you get around or highly effective transfer uh, yeah we are keep searching the transfer process mm -hmm. yeah so we are trying the both of the wet transfer and dry transfer. Yes. So wet transfer case, we using some semi optimization process. Okay. Using so again, some high volume. Yeah, small tech, some small machine to transfer on the silicon vapor. So in the case, it's not perfect, but we minimize the wrinkle and defect. Okay. Yeah. So my collaborator, they love that. <laughs> yeah. So so we are confident. So yeah. this wet process could be the future that yeah. could help you go. Home. Yeah, we have also prepared the dry, dry, dry transport process yeah. using the thermal release tape and some the, the road roll transport process and road roll the etching process together. So finally our goal is to make some inline uh, continuous system, hmm. continuous growth and then it's directly go to the 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 carrier film and HOA and transfer the target substrate is our, our final goal. Very good. Yeah, in for that we checked every detail thing and we collect every data and every result and every condition. So we optimize the con optimize our final target. Yeah, we Very believe good. with that. So you're here at the ID Tech X show. What yeah. are you hoping to gain? What are you hoping to gain oh. from your two days here? Yeah, until now we didn't open our technology so some some guys some guys ask me you, is a, you, you are really LG yeah yeah so so this the, is one of the first times you are yeah, showcasing the, your yeah. work making it more open to more yeah. collaborators and partnerships yeah. yeah yeah we just opened our technology in the early in this year so and most of the case in the several academic components uh -huh. yeah so the academic it's a two academic. Our company is a, so mass, mass production of a commercial thing. So we expand our product to the real commercial product. Mm -hmm. So we want some. Our ship with graphene is a so good quality, and we can supply very soft, very stably. So we have a we have a chance to collaborate with the actual customer. I see. Yeah. Ah, well, very good. Well, I hope you find those commercial partnerships and engagements, and I look forward to seeing it on the market. Yeah. Thank you very much for your time, Dr. Kim. You're welcome.